Okay, class, this is going to be first your mouse sexing, and then I'm going to attempt the mouse restraint with the one-handed scruff hold with my um, non-dominant hand. So what I want to point out first is I just carried these from that dresser, um, you know, where they make noise all night long and keep my husband up. Um, and one of the things that you need to remember is when you're transporting cages, you need to put the water bottle the other way around. And that's so you're not jiggling and wiggling all that water out because they, they'll be fine without water for a little bit. So this is the first cage that I'm going to show you. And when you do your lab practical, this is super easy. So if you remember what I said earlier, when we're sexing them, you're supposed to use anogenital distance, but Tanya looks for nipples. And so in this cage, all you have to do to sex a mouse is just pull him up like that. I've got him sitting there, and do you see any nipples? I don't see any nipples. So I'm going to put him back for a second, or her, whatever it is. And then I'm going to go over to this other cage, and we're going to do the same thing with one of these guys. And then you guys can tell me what you think. Okay, same, same method here. Okay, this one's a little wild. Okay, I'm holding it up. Do you see those hairless spots? Those are our nipples. So this one is a female, and I will grab another one to prove my point. It doesn't want to be grabbed. Ah, got it. Look at this one. Another one. Nipples. Nipples. And these guys are fat. Remember I told you the females are larger than the males? I'm going to give them their water bottle back because I really think the boys are going to be better for this. And hopefully we'll have new mice for restraint. And so again, this is our boy. No nipples pretty easy so this guy's a little bit older I'm gonna move this out of the way you can use the grate if you wanted to and so I'm going to hold the base of his tail um, right here and I'm gonna use this is on my left hand so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to squish right around his neck you see how quick I was I'm gonna let up because you don't want him to bite you I'm gonna squish his neck down so now I'm going to pinch and scruff his head. Oops, he's peeing, guys. Ooh, that's a lot of pee. It's really dark pee. He's not drinking enough water. And I am going to hold his, um, you can put his tail in there and his leg. So I've got his head to where he can't move it. I can give an intraperitoneal injection just like that without him bothering. So I'm going to put him back in because I don't want to stress him out, but that was some pretty concentrated urine. Um, these guys aren't doing so well. He looks a little dehydrated. Sorry, baby. Even his skin is up. Let me put your water back down there, not that you're going to drink it. Let me go try the male because you guys are just going to have to pick one out. So here's the other one. Again, this is my non-dominant hand. He has a hole in his ear from where he had a, um, what do you call that, a, a, an ear tag. So I am going to squish down. Oops, and see, this is what they're going to do. They're going to fight and wiggle. I'm going to squish down on his head, pinch up his skin, and I may not have a good grip, so I may have to keep Juggling my fingers, oops, I don't want to get bit. Um, juggling my fingers around till I get a good scruff. And again, I'm going to hold that back leg and his tail. And now I can single handedly with my dominant hand give an intraperitoneal injection. So I have really scared the crap out of these guys. And um, I'm pretty sure that um, the one that the first one that has the dark urine isn't going to be with us much longer. Um, he scared me earlier. So I'm going to try with the girl, one of the girls, because you know, you never know what you guys are going to have to use. Let me go flip this over. Let me wash my hand real quick. Uh, don't want any of those pheromones. So when you're in class, you're going to practice this mouse restraint because you're going to have to do this for the lab practical without losing control of your mouse. So here I am with my mouse. And again, you kind of got to capture them quick. And I am pushing down and squeezing up, trying to get a good scruff, holding the tail so I don't let loose of this creature. And I'm going to readjust till I have a good scruff. I can scruff the whole body. And look at that. She decided to bite that. And there I go. Now I have my scruff hold again. So now you've seen me do it with both, and I probably make it look a thousand times easier. <laughs> and when you go to do it in class, you're going to be extremely frustrated with me. All right, so that's it. Thanks.